Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools tutorial, I'll show you how to edit vocal stutters to match your beat. This is used by all the leading hip hop guys like Ludacris and Lil Wayne. So let's ch 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 check it out. <laughs> all right, so all I have here is a drum beat and I have a sample. And I'm gonna cut up that sample to get that, you know, kind of hesitated effect on it. So I'll just play the sample real quick. You must find strength. And just the drum beat. Okay, you get the idea. So what you want to do when you're, you know, doing this kind of hesitated, like chopped up kind of effect, you want to work in grid mode and you want to work with a grid value of either 164th note or 132nd note so you can get very precise, um, you know, precise regions, you know, so you can find those words and syllables that you want to cut up. So I'm just going to duplicate that. I just highlighted the region and command D on a Mac to duplicate it. And then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit with T. And to do that, you need to have the keyword focus enabled, the AZ button over here to use R and T to zoom in and out. So then, you know, what you want to do is just go in, dig in there and, you know, find the words or the syllables that you want to use. So, you. so I want you. So I'm just going to, you know, find the good point on my grid with my cursor and then control B to make a cut. So now I have you. You must. And then must. I wanna. Must. 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 I wanna isolate. So find a good point and then Control B to make a cut. Must find. And then find. Find strength. All right. So find strength. I'm gonna have separated. Control B again to make a cut. And strength. So I've, you know, chopped it up the way I like it. And strength. And then you could just clean it up, you know, shorten up the regions a little bit. And then draw in some fades just to clean it up so you don't get any clicks or pops going on. And then what you want to do, you know, is find the rhythm that you want to get these words uh, hitting on. So I want all of them to, like, hit on the kick drums. So... All you got to do is find your kicks and, you know, arrange them so they hit exactly when the kick drum hits or a snare or, you know, or the hi-hats or whatever you're doing. You. Let me play the drums with this. You. So you hits when that kick drum hits and I'll just duplicate it so it hits on all three of these kicks and I'll just trim it up a little bit. And I use the nudging a little bit to arrange it better. You, you, you. you know, you get the idea with that. And then if, you know, if you have some timing issues with your sample, you can go over and grab the TCE tool, time compression expansion tool, and then just go in there and trim up the region and, you know, make it faster or slower to fit the timing of your track. You, my. you, 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 my. You know, you get the idea there. So then, you know, just it's all about arranging at that point, you know, to see how you want it to fit within your track. So I've already done something here. I've already arranged it up with the rhythm, with the drums. So I'll play it. You must find strength. You, you, you must find, find strength. So with those like little effects that I have here, this right here. Oh. This region here, you. I just took you, you and I grabbed the Audio Suite Verify plugin, which is under Pitch Shift Verify, and I did Slow Down, and then I also did it as well for Strength. You can always get in touch with Justin at WingSound.com and check out more of Justin's videos, including these titles featuring the new Pro Tools 8, now available on demand at WingSound.com.